my dear students and parents in the previous video we have discussed about the heart attack in this video we are going to discuss the heart failure in the chapter body fluids and circulation in the subject zoology to the plus 1 cbse plus 2 cbse and in need to students it is also useful to all of us you can see this information and about what is heart failure when a person's heart is unable to pump blood sufficiently to meet the requirements of the body note the word the heart is unable to pump blood sufficiently sufficiently but not completely heart failure occurs due to the dysfunction of left ventricle you can see this information on the board heart failure is also called congestive heart failure that is chf you can also this information on the board we know that there are four chambers in the heart two upper chambers and two lower chambers the upper chambers are called auricles that is atria atria is the plural name the singular is atrium when the right auricle that is right atrium contracts the blood comes to the right ventricle the right ventricle is placed below and nearer to the right atrium when the right ventricle contracts the blood that is impure blood that is deoxygenated blood goes to the lungs through the pulmonary artery we know that the arteries carry the oxygenated blood that is pure blood from the heart to different parts of the body except to only one artery that is pulmonary artery this pulmonary artery carries the impure blood that is deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs then after getting purification purification means after getting oxygen the blood becomes oxygenated blood that is pure blood this pure blood comes to the left atrium that is left auricle through the pulmonary veins all veins carry the impure blood that is deoxygenated blood except this pulmonary vein this pulmonary vein carries the pure blood that is oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium then the left atrium contracts when the left atrium contracts the blood pours into the left ventricle the left ventricle is also placed below the left atrium and nearer to the left atrium in all these three cases that is in the case of right atrium in the case of right ventricle in the case of left atrium the blood has to come to the nearer chamber so that no greater force is required for contraction but in the case of the left ventricle when the left ventricle contracts the blood has to go from the heart to different parts of the body that is to all cells of the body so the left ventricle has to contract with the greater force then only it can pump blood from the heart to all parts of the body because the shoulder head brain 
are all situated above the heart. Even though they are situated above the heart, it has to pump blood to this head, brain, shoulder and our face and all other portions above the heart. So, the function of the left ventricle is very very important. So, it needs sufficient amount of energy to pump the blood. If it dysfunctions, the heart failure will occur. All organs of the body, that is all cells of the body, need oxygen for their functioning. The oxygen is not supplied directly to the organs, that is to the all cells of the body. They are supplied only through the blood. Therefore, what is the function of the blood? Blood transports oxygen and carbon dioxide between the lungs and different parts of the body. Blood not only transports oxygen and carbon dioxide, it also transports nutrients between the digestive tract and the storage site to different parts of the body. Then we are going to study about the main symptoms of the heart failure. The main symptoms of the heart failure are congestion of lungs and edema. What is congestion? The congestion is the accumulation of excess amount of body fluid. In this case, the accumulation of excess amount of body fluid in the lungs. That is the congestion of lungs. Then do you know what is edema? Edema is also accumulation of excess amount of body fluid that is in the legs, feet and angles. So that in the case of heart failure, we can see the swelling in the feet, legs and the angles. If we press the swollen portion, we can feel the pit. Why the heart failure occurs? The heart failure occurs due to coronary artery disease. That is CAD. High blood pressure, diabetes or obesity, stress etc. You can see this fact on the board. Then we are going to discuss what is cardiac arrest. When there is complete heart failure, that condition is called as cardiac arrest. In the case of cardiac arrest, a person's heart stops pumping blood to the parts of the body. That is to the entire parts of the body. Stops pumping. In the case of heart failure, a person's heart is unable to pump blood sufficiently. In the case of cardiac arrest, a person's heart completely stops, completely stops pumping blood to the entire parts of the body. Therefore, it stops breathing usually. Hence, what are the differences between heart attack, heart failure and cardiac arrest? In the case of heart attack, the heart muscles are damaged due to inadequate supply of blood. That is inadequate supply of oxygen. In the case of heart failure, the heart is unable to pump blood sufficiently for the requirements of the body. 
in the case of cardiac arrest the heart stops pumping blood from the heart to different parts of the body these are the differences between heart attack heart failure and cardiac arrest my dear students i think that this video will be very useful to you if this is really beneficial to you you can share this video with your friends relatives and classmates you can also subscribe my channel